The end goal of plant-powered persuasion is to inspire the other person to embrace a vegan lifestyle. Now, in an ideal situation, everyone would be ready to go fully vegan right away. But each person and situation are different. Be sure to gauge their openness throughout your entire conversation. By constantly taking inventory of their receptiveness, you'll be able to guide the end of the conversation to the most productive endpoint. If someone is super enthusiastic and ready to go fully vegan right away, ask them what they need from you to help in their transition. If someone is open to the idea but isn't overly excited, you can pose non-threatening trial periods like, how about going vegan for a month and see how you feel? And if someone isn't open to veganism at all, which sometimes happens, Find a way to end the conversation gracefully while always keeping the door open. Something like, I really appreciate that you were willing to talk with me about this. Although we don't agree on everything, I'm glad that we were able to find common ground on X. I hope we can continue this conversation later as I'd love to hear your opinion on why. You thank them for talking with you, which is always appreciated. You acknowledge that you do indeed have different perspectives, but you remind them that you also have commonalities. And then you prompt their interest to continue the conversation further. People love to share their own opinions. And when you say you want to hear their opinion on a particular topic, they'll go and ponder that topic. They may even do some research in the meantime, which could lead to an independent change in their perspective. It just gets them thinking, engaging, and coming back for more conversation, which is another opportunity to move their needle towards veganism. If someone was impacted by the conversation but isn't ready to go fully vegan yet, encourage them to take small steps such as buying only cruelty-free and vegan beauty products, eliminating meat, or swapping plant milk for cow's milk. It can be really disappointing when someone chooses to take small steps instead of going fully vegan, but even small steps indicate that this person is willing to change. Only about one-third of current vegans went fully vegan right away. Two-thirds of people who are currently vegan took small steps to get there. So if we criticize people for taking small steps, that alienates two-thirds of potential future vegans. And if they feel attacked for taking small steps, some people may just give up on veganism altogether, which is a lost opportunity. Always keep the big picture in mind. Keep engaging them in discussions. Keep encouraging them to take steps toward a vegan lifestyle. Small steps compound into bigger steps. The more supported and encouraged they feel, the more empowered they are to keep moving their needle. Now, whether someone is taking big steps or small steps, it's always important to provide practical support. We want people to feel successful, so they always keep moving the needle towards vegan, always stay vegan, and mobilize others to become vegan. Offer further resources tailored to their needs. If someone was really impacted by the horrors of animal agriculture, provide resources to help them learn more. Or if someone is struggling with what to eat, have a couple vegan food blogs or cookbooks ready to give them. The more that someone learns and feels successful, the more they will lean into a fully vegan lifestyle. Now, I think we can all attest that social situations as a new vegan are difficult. And social isolation is a big reason why some people give up on veganism. So it is 
critical to introduce them to a positive vegan social group. This sense of belonging will make it much easier to stay vegan. Introducing someone who isn't fully vegan yet to a vegan social group can also be really helpful. It gives them a whole group of positive role models. This can encourage them to keep moving the needle towards fully vegan. So as we've learned in this six-part mini-series, conversations lead to personal transformation. And personal transformation fuels every stage of the social justice process. In order to end animal exploitation, we need to mobilize at least 3.5% of the population. And we're already one third of the way there. If every vegan was able to inspire just three people in their community to go vegan and become active in vegan advocacy, we would reach that critical 3.5% threshold. And a vegan world would be inevitable. So after considering all the information in this mini-series, go out and have some conversations about veganism. See if you can inspire just three people in your social circle or community to move their needle towards veganism. The more people you inspire, the closer we get to that critical 3.5% threshold. You can even encourage someone to take one of Vegan FTA's pledges or participate in Veganuary. We have the power to create a vegan world. And a vegan world for all living beings starts with plant-powered persuasion.